is and is currently at the centre of this dramatic storyline. Ashley, you're the victim here. I'm ashamed. I really thought you might not believe me. Well, then you need to trust me more. If you did, there'd be nothing you wouldn't tell me. I need to know the bad things. I want to help. I don't need saving like you tried to save her. I'm here. I'm your wife. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Please welcome Charlotte Bellamy. Charlotte, what a time you're having. I know, it's so dramatic, isn't it? When I had Charlotte on a few weeks ago, it was your Sally, or the, the, um, the one who's after you. And the, what Psycho a, Sally. Psycho Sally. It goes on and on and on. I thought they'd have done away with her ages ago. Oh, she's back. She's back. Are you enjoying it as a storyline? Yeah, it's been great, actually. It's been brilliant. And everybody loves a, a soap baddie, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think she's had quite a lot of stick, actually. But do, 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 you, do you sort of socialise together at all? Yeah, no, we're good friends, me, Sean. Yeah. So when people see you out together, aren't they? <laughs> what are you doing with her? You know, you don't... Yeah, people shout out, don't talk to her! You know, but, you know, she's great. She's great. She's a brilliant actress. And, you know. But, Ashley, I've never known a vicar who's been through quite so much. I know. Got quite so many wives or relationships or... Oh, lovely Ashley. Lovely Ashley. Lovely, Ashley. lovely chap. Yeah, he's yeah. great. We, we get on really well. Yeah. We are like an old married couple, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was reading about you, the bits of you that have been in. There are, there are certain scenes, I gather, certain rooms in Emmerdale that you quite like being in and others you don't like being in. I gather the Woolpack apparently is terribly hard work. <laughs> Oh, Woolpack Dave. I suppose, like, with, with any soap, the, like, you know, the Queen Vic or the Rovers, those days, they're long, and sometimes you can be in a scene which is, like, eight pages long and you haven't, haven't got anything to say. Well, you're just sitting at a table in a corner. Yeah, right? drinking lager. Um, oh, how <laughs> awful. Eight hours, sitting in a chair, drinking lager. <laughs> <laughs> so those days are quite hard, you know, for everybody, but um, I love being on our set because it's like being at home. I know where everything is. They wear all my cutlery is, my plates. Well, because you, you've been there eight years now. Not, yeah, not no. you've been with Ashley for that long. But, I mean, it, it must become second nature. You, want, you know, and it's another life, really. So it is like that's your half your home, really, in a way, I yeah, guess, that, at that room. Yeah, it is. I can't believe how quickly it's gone. And I've had three children while I've been there. <laughs> now, I've been pregnant three times in the show and tried to hide it. <laughs> Keep eating them Rosemary Schrager's hot cross buns, that's what it is. <laughs> how do you juggle? How do you do it? What's the practical solution? Um, how do I juggle? Uh, well, I've got a very hands-on partner, um, brilliant nanny, yeah. and between the three of us, we just, we, we, we juggle it between us. Do you live up in Yorkshire? Yeah, I live in Harrogate. Oh, right. oh Harrogate. Harrogate! Oh, oh, lovely Harrogate. Yeah, it's gorgeous, it's really Cheers. nice. And that's about yeah. sort of ten minutes from the village. Um, and about half an hour to the studio. Oh, no, that's so. brilliant. Yeah, that's so that works good. out yes, well. You can that one. It, I'd love that, because, I mean, you know, I come from Ilkley, which is a rival to Harrogate. They were two, <laughs> in Victorian times, there were times there were two spa towns, mm -hmm. and Harrogate's always thought it was a bit better than Ilkley, which is why there's the rivalry there. But it's a lovely place to work, I should think, you know, just to, just to stay there. Gorgeous. Did you imagine you'd be in it for eight years when you started? No, because I, I came into Emmerdale as a, a singing bee eight years ago. I was a... <laughs> Of course you did. I never <laughs> thought I'd stay, I have to say. Um, and so, yeah, in a way, I've, you know, so much has happened to Laurel as a character in eight years. She's become a mother. Um, uh, I've become a mother. So, uh, you know, so much has happened. Life mirrors art. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah. And because you're then living in Yorkshire and you're part of this great Yorkshire soap, which has got huge following up there particularly, it's difficult to get about now. I mean, are you Lauren to everybody in Arrogate when they see you? Um, they're sort of used to me now, really. Yeah, they're used to me. Well, that's the Yorkshire trait, isn't yeah. it? Don't, don't think we're going to give you any special treatment just because you're in that soap. <laughs> yeah, you know. exactly. They always say up there, when you, when the, you know you've been accepted when you move into a Yorkshire village after ten years, when the farmer, when he's driving down the road on his tractor, lifts one finger up as he's passing you, you know, <laughs> you know you're in then, it's all right. Yeah, exactly. But you, you're not a native, though. You didn't come from there, No, no, I, I, I uh, grew up in Hertfordshire. Mm. Um, but I love Yorkshire. I love it. 
and uh, I, 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 I don't think I ever want to leave. Well, you know, maybe you won't have to unless you get bumped off. Do we know how this story is going to end with you inside? What? Well, Can there's a bit a... of a showdown, obviously. Go on, then. Give us a bit of that. I can't tell you at all, Can I you mean. give us bits? Well, I, I, I do find her. Yeah. And a dangler off a balcony, six floors. But do you let go? <laughs> but do I let go? I can't say. That's literally the cliffhanger, is it? Yeah, it is. Right, so you dangle her over a balcony. Yeah. Uh, by her hands or uh... her hair. And in fact, Sean, <laughs> Sean <laughs> for her. And Sean kept saying to me, "You've actually got my hair." <laughs> Because we were obviously all harnessed up yeah. and everything, but it was quite scary, actually. Yeah, pretty scary for her. If you're holding her hair, we'll wait and see if you let go. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte Bellamy. <laughs>